Good evening. Hello, Libbies. Welcome to your phone. I wanna laugh out loud. Talk a little deeper. Kiss a little harder. I wanna laugh out loud. Talk a little deeper. Kiss a little harder. Love a little louder. Welcome back. <laughs> it was a nice break. We almost extended it. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. But we are in the kitchen, which means food. Something's cooking. And Libby's going to make us a little cocktail. Get us the brutal fruits, a slice of lemon, and some ice. Okay. okay. Where is this coming from? <laughs> I don't know this juice. A little bit of a. Uh, spritz and leafies. Spritz and leafies. Okay, so tonight we are gonna make chicken content bleu. <laughs> no, no, we're not. We're making it's... chicken content bleu. <laughs> so we don't have ham, we don't have cheese. We've got bacon! Okay, so we don't have cheese. I kind of butchered these, they fell. They fell out of it. But what I'm going to do is just spice these up, put some avo, and then wrap it in bacon. Avo? Avo? Beach. Thank you. Put it down just with your chicken. You can have my lemon, this is just for big fish. <laughs> okay, can you please do a little bit of aromat for me? Aromat. No, it's not enough. Okay, uh, salt. You want a sip of your... Have you ever had it like this? With lemon inside of me. Brutal fruit to lemon. Mm -hmm. It's refreshing. You don't have lemon in yours. No. Yeah. I've seen like other alcoholic beverages with lemon inside of it. Guys, I'm doing the last one. Let me show you how I wrap it. How you roll. How I roll. This is how I roll. So you've got the avo inside. A little bit of spices. And then you just do like a little whooshing. You see? You see? Can you see? It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. But I don't have enough bacon for the third one, so I'm just going to do a very boring other one. Okay, so there we have it. Three wrapped in bacon, and then this one, I didn't have enough bacon. But I'm going to line the air fryer with some foil. Would you please hold it? Careful your finger around the mic Okay, so 
I'm just making some extras for lunch tomorrow. That's why I have like four chicken breasts. Because um, I kind of defrosted the whole... How many chicken fillets do we have in that pack? How much do you make now? Four. Five, six, seven. Like eight fillets. So they are all defrosted. So I think I'm just going to cook all of it and then just freeze it again for like meals throughout the week. What else are you fancying this week? We can make chicken wraps. Chicken salads. Mm. Chicken... Mm. Hong Kong. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Hong Kong is like a, a chili. Chicken but that you make it with um, mincemeat. I've got potatoes in the microwave that was pre made by Jess a few days ago. She froze it, so I'm just defrosting it. I'm going to mash it, add some butter, add some milk, mm. and some nice smash. Mash. Mm. Yeah, and then we'll have a big salad with mm. that. Sounds good. How long have we had this microwave? And <laughs> Bren is only now trying to figure it out. I mainly when I get when I wanna cook something I just go like that. No. But look yes. It says potato. Potato is so number four. Then what do we do? <laughs> Power clock start. I threw the manual away. <laughs> How does it work? Menu. Okay. So this is auto, so I think we need to change Power. the Power. Just wait. Maybe it'll go. Combo two. Combo one. So you can preset combos. Grill. Clock. <laughs> now what did I just do? What are you doing now? Keeping up. What do I need for fish? Did it go 
Turn your nose. No, it's just the chin. Did it go in your face? <laughs> yeah. Is your nose itchy? Then scratch it, Norman. What are we going to do with the rest of the chicken? I don't know. You... Should, I, should we do chicken strips? And just cook them? Yeah, it's fine. I don't know why you... I don't know why we didn't freeze it separately. Well, that's not my fault. It's not my fault either. It's our fault. But it's not an issue if we just cook it now. Yeah, but now we can only cook it and give it one flavor. No, I'll just cook it normally. Maybe we can use it for that Thai soup. Oh yeah, we still need to eat that. I think it's going to go. No, it's freeze. It's frozen. It's frozen. That's why I'm saying we can just cook the chicken. So all of these cooking shows you're making me watch, I saw something that you haven't done yet. What? You haven't yet. Took in, took. Took in, took, took. <laughs> Taken into consideration yet. What? So the one lady, I can't remember which show because you watch endless cooking shows, mm. said you should add your salt on your chicken after it's been cooked really? because salt dehydrates chicken much quicker which means you'll have a much better chance of having dry chicken if you cook it that way well I don't care what other chefs say because I'm the chef that sometimes makes dry chicken <laughs> you're such an asshole some people would say it's weird that you make potatoes with the skin. No, the skin is nice. Mm. We like it with the skin. Give it nice texture. And it's really hard with baby potatoes to, to peel them. It and not waste a lot of potatoes. Potatoes, darling, potatoes. I would like to get into this. I would like for you to play Xbox with me, but none, none of that's going to happen. What do you mean? I suck at playing Xbox. Well, I suck at editing videos a month ago. <laughs> okay, if we find something that I enjoy, I will play with you. But FIFA and maybe I'll try Call of Duty. No, it's fine. But what? What games would interest me? I don't know. It's, it's a difficult thing to find a game that My would interest you out. and that would interest me at the same time. Like, you don't like first person shooting games. I would if I know how to play it. But mean? I don't know how to play it. Because I, I just go like. Point on the remote. Shoot. But then I lose. And then they'll kill me. And then I'll be I nervous. Get, I suck at Call of Duty Warzone. I get killed a lot. Okay, let's play tonight then. You can't play more split screen on that. Call of Duty? We can play the normal Call of Duty, but we can't play Warzone online with friends with a split screen. Can I test it? This? Mm -hmm. Not yet. <laughs> So what do you put in your mash? Do you share? So I uh, added some, I prefer bit. normal milk. But, but the we are a no milk household. So we've only got almond milk inside here. We've this coconut, try using the coconut. Or maybe a bit more creamy. Bit milk. Let, me, let me get okay, it for you. Bye. You like normal milk. Our fridge is so empty. Go, sir. Can I add some butter and some aromat? It should be good to go. So the milk and the butter makes it a bit more creamy. Ooh, that looks good. Can I taste it now? I think it's a bit cold, but you can taste it. Just need to heat it up a bit. Okay, well, Jess is preparing the chicken we're not going to eat tonight. 
Um, have you guys seen, there's like a comedian, he's quite old, I think he's like 60 or 70 years old. And in his bit, he talks about um, things you didn't know before you were married. Oh. <laughs> and one of the things in his sketch, whatever he, he says, his sketch. No, it's like his his time he's got on the oh, stage. Oh. His joke. No, it is what or whatever. So what the guy says is he it's a bunch of things he didn't know before he got married. Yeah. And then one stage while we're on this open book. Oh my gosh, I laugh. So <laughs> there's much. one stage. He says he's behind this old couple, elderly couple, in the super the supermarket, and uh, the gentleman like reaches to get milk, but he reaches very slowly. He goes for the full cream milk, and his wife says, "You don't drink full cream milk. You drink skim milk." <laughs> and he like goes and he takes the skim milk. And the comedian says, "Well." At that moment, I thought to myself, how lucky is this man <laughs> to have met this woman because he's been drinking the wrong milk his whole life and she came in and told him to drink the right milk. <laughs> <laughs> you don't drink normal milk, you drink almond milk. <laughs> no, the reason why we only buy almond milk is, number one, I don't drink normal milk and Brain doesn't mind on the milk. Um, it's not like well, yeah. except during the lockdown, we used a whole lot more milk than we would do. Mm. But you just make coffee like a proper barista. Yeah, so I think before the lockdown we didn't drink as much coffee. Mm. So we didn't use up milk really. So we, it would have wasted, wasted, would have wasted it. I bought milk and shed almond milk. The milk, both milk were run off eventually. We tried that in the beginning. We tried buying like a small milk for Rain. And then it, it would just go bad because he would have like one or two cups and then the milk would go bad. Whereas almond milk honestly lasts longer. Yeah, and it does have a longer like shelf life or fridge life or whatever. But also if both of us drink from one container, but I mean, we use it up quicker. Can you really taste a difference? Yes, there's a major difference. It's like insane. In the in the coffee that you make? No, not so much in the coffee, but if you like take a sip of milk. Or no, but I mean like the coffee that you make for us every single morning. I can't really taste, except it's not as like rich. No, it's not. I don't know. It's not. It's not as. But full. it's nice. It's still nice and it doesn't taste much different but there's a different texture to it and there's just something about normal milk and coffee that works. I know. Don't get me wrong. I love a cappuccino but not if I have to run to the bathroom five minutes later. <laughs> Today and not tomorrow there's no... First time I've seen this I did it at your parents' house a lot. What 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 are you doing? It's just You're blanching water. it. It's water, oil and salt. That's how the Asians do it. Okay. Just blanching Let's it. See how it okay. Let's so you see. can use it for any dish, like soups. You can use it for I don't know, wraps. Stop mocking me. <laughs> okay, so we are watching Master Chef, and I just whipped up a little salad. Brenda's gonna dish. This is yours, baby. Um, I just have a salad of tomato, some broccoli, lettuce, um, a little bit of gherkins, and then um, Bren is dishing his mash, and then we're just gonna put the chicken on top. Now, doesn't this look like a dish? A dish and a half, my darling. 
Bon appétit Tomorrow, there's no time to buy.